What's up, strength fans? Thanks so much for tuning in again for today's Meathead Meditation. Just wanted to take another uh, quick second to just give thanks to everybody that watched the last video and everybody that uh, sent me messages and suggestions and all these types of things. I really appreciate it. And remember, guys, I'm doing these videos for you, just trying to sort of mull over some thoughts that are in my head about, you know, issues that might help you guys get stronger. Um, so if there's anything that I can uh, do to help you, please don't be afraid to reach out, message me, uh, leave a comment, whatever, whatever you like, and uh, I'll see if I can get to it for you. So um, today what I wanted to talk about is something that uh, I struggle with. <laughs> uh, remember last time we talked about having lists of strengths and weaknesses. I think it's really important to always have a list of weaknesses and to be working on them uh, if that's something that really drives you to um, uh, make yourself better as an overall person. So um, one thing I really struggle with is a version of procrastination. And um, I don't really think procrastination is the right word for it. Um, you know, I have interests on top of interests and hobbies on top of hobbies. So I'm always doing something, um, you know, uh, but I think I, I struggle with staying on task sometimes, if you will, about uh, maybe some of my outcome goals. So, um, you know, I love playing music. I love playing guitar. Um, but is playing three hours of guitar a day and listening to two albums going to get me to squat 800 pounds? Absolutely not. So I think I struggle with sort of um, staying on task with things that are, you know, priority number one and two for me, uh, going and just doing the things that I like versus things that I should do. And um, if anybody out there's uh, struggled with that, I hope this video gives you some strategies that you can uh, sort of apply to your own uh, life and and they've really helped me. So um, we're going to get into it here. So um, basically, I, re I don't know where I read this or heard it, but uh, a really awesome phrase that has helped me over the years is um, something that whoever said it said, own your day, don't let your day own you. And uh, what I sort of interpret that as is we are in charge, right? So when we get up in the morning and we you know, it's an awesome time to be alive. You can go ahead and do whatever you really, whatever you want, right? You can learn a new language. You can go on YouTube, learn some guitar. You can learn, you guys are reading or you're watching this on YouTube and learning how to overcome procrastination, right? And uh, let me tell you, it's something that I have struggled with big time and have had to try to apply a lot of different strategies to get over. So, um, so own your day. Don't let the day own you. And uh, we live in a pretty reactionary society. And what I mean by that is like, just think about your phone for a second. So a lot of us, and if you're close friends of mine, I've probably asked you uh, what your morning routine is, because I'm really interested in uh, what people do the first thing in the morning when they get up, because I, I believe that sort of sets the tone for the day. So anyways, um, a lot of us and a lot of people I've talked to, um, what we do is, and I've been guilty of this too, when we get up in the morning, we check our phone immediately. We're looking for all those Instagram likes or uh, emails from, you know, significant others or messages, what have you. Uh, in my case, I'm looking for, you know, online orders that Metal might get, right? Um, and I'm I'm immediately sort of reacting to all of that, or, or I had been anyway. And I think a lot of people fall into that trap too. And... Um, we don't want to be reactionary, right? We want to own our day. We don't want to let our day own us. So what, what has helped me? Another, oh, another sort of point on that is um, habit stacking. I don't know if you guys have heard of this term, but you wouldn't go to the bathroom in the morning, brush your teeth, run out, do another task, run back in, go to the bathroom, go back out, do something else, and go back in and uh, run the shower, right? So... Why are we looking at our phones every time it buzzes? This is uh, this is something that's really um, changed me when I stopped doing that. I sort of set times in my day where I'm going to answer email. I set times in the day where I'm going to answer group chats. Or I set times in the day where I'm going to even answer phone calls sometimes. I won't answer phone calls immediately if I've got something um, that I know I need to stay on task to do. So, And another strategy of owning my day and not letting my day own me and this might sound a little pedantic to a lot of you out there, uh, but remember, I struggle with this and I need systems in place to help myself uh, get over it. And that's just a very simple planned list of, you know, what I have planned for the day. So I sort of get up in the in the morning. And the first thing I do is I, I try not to check my phone immediately. Um, and I sort of list what, what, what are, you know, three to five things I want to get accomplished 
uh, with my businesses, what are three to five things I want to get accomplished maybe personally. And uh, so then I come up with a list of, you know, sort of prioritizing how important they are and when I want to do those. So I'm just going to take you through what I did yesterday. So I just keep a running email on my uh, computer or phone here. And uh, so yesterday from six to seven, I drank coffee and I watched a YouTube on internet marketing. I can put a check mark beside that because I did that. Seven to seven thirty, I had breakfast followed by a ten minute walk. Thanks, Uncle Stan. I'm still doing those. Uh, seven thirty to eight, I cleaned my office. Julie, can you believe it? Uh, eight to eight thirty, eight to nine thirty, I edited a online project that Metal has going on. Nine thirty to ten, follow up with uh, some Nova customers on equipment. At ten o'clock, I ate and a ten minute walk. Ten thirty to one thirty, I edited my online project again. One thirty, another uh, meal and a, and a ten minute walk. Two o'clock, I get ready to head to Metal as I had to uh, coach Special Olympics. Uh, and 3.30, this is the one thing I can't cross off uh, today is uh, train. I was super sore from Monday. I did uh, sets of 20 squats. Let me tell you, I'm, I was too sore, so I pushed uh, yesterday's training to today. And then I left um, last night open as I knew uh, my wife Julie's up north doing an archaeology project. I knew basically the only thing I wanted to do last night was catch up with her, and I didn't get to do that till seven. So anyways, so I wrote that list early in the morning and I get some sort of weird uh, latent pleasure out of crossing those things off, right? And uh, that's really helped me sort of mitigate the procrastination or whatever you're not staying on task. And that's helped me own my day and not let my day own me. And another quote that's really helped me uh, sort of piece all this together is, uh, I can't, again, I can't remember who said this. I'm sorry, I'm not going to take credit. I didn't come up with this, but you're going to pay in discipline or you're going to pay in regret. And both are incredibly expensive. So, and uh, obviously one is more expensive than the other. So I hope that gives you guys just a little bit to think about. Uh, if you're a leader, especially maybe you're a manager at your work, um, you need to own your day and not let the day own you. And you need to sort of let that trickle down to people around you, right? And, uh, you know, if you're a strength athlete, just checking out for the day and making a paycheck so you can uh, buy more food, by all means, go ahead and just let that day own you. But remember, you need to apply those types of principles to uh, your food, your training and your sleep. Right. So anyways, guys, thanks again for tuning in. If there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to reach out. And remember, always own your day.